Brian Zenowich is dancing with some of his favorite stars. It's a very visceral experience. I mean, you are in contact with this machine and, and you're working back and forth with the robot and it's like a dance that you're doing with the robot. Zenowich is a robotics engineer at Barrett Technology in Cambridge, Massachusetts, where they make robotic arms and hands. You get both the skill of the person, the intelligence of the person, and the precision and speed of the robot working together to perform a task. For robot parts to act and react like people parts, Barrett needed to make them small and portable with maximum agility. So with help from the National Science Foundation, they developed a computerized device called a puck. A puck is a motor controller which goes into all of our products that uh, controls the motors and moves them with as much force, as much torque as we need them to move. Just as people move around, we want our robots to move around, so we, they needed to be small and lightweight and low power. The puck allows the arms and hands to be utilized in many ways. The operator can actually sense virtual objects through the touch of the robot when you are in contact with our robot, you can actually feel objects in 3D space. The robot will create that virtual environment for you in a physical sense. The Rehabilitation Institute of Chicago uh, is using our robot to perform rehabilitation on stroke patients, to make them stronger, to get their brain really to understand what, what were the after effects of the stroke. Telerobotics allows for remote operation of the arms and hands, which could be a boon for the military. The robot can go in remotely under human control and can disarm the explosive device. Another application is teach and play. It's very easy to teach our robot to make um, even complex motions like writing. The robot can be programmed to automatically understand what to do. So if you were to put a pen in the robot's hand, it would know that it's supposed to write something with that pen. The applications are seemingly limitless. Pretty handy, huh? For Science Nation, I'm Miles O'Brien.